Hi, ladies. Hey, this isn't my robe. I had to borrow it from Cindy, so <laughs> forgive this robe. You are... Looks like a smoking jacket. I'm Cindy, that's Debbie, and this <laughs> is our spa night. Now, we've already taken our showers. We've cleansed our face one time. Me with um, Noxzema. And me with... Sarah V hydrating facial. I, I do it twice, but I told her just get the makeup off. And so we got this in our Beauty Heroes box. And this is a facial polish that you use uh, about twice or three times a week. So we wanted to test it out. So what you do is you just put it on your face, uh, dry face, and you rub it in. And then you rinse it with warm water, rub it around your face again, and then rinse. And this is a facial polish. All right, so comes out green. Oh, it's got little gritty stuff in there. Ah, oh, smells so good. We got this from um, Beauty Heroes. Yeah, Beauty Heroes. I'll put the video link up there if you want to. Feels really good. It smells really clean. I like all those little crunchy things on there, like yeah. little bead balls. It's an ex it's a polish, like it's rid of dead skin. And then it says to rinse or activate with warm water. So let me get it warm. And then you rinse. Go ahead. Rinse off, baby. Robe all wet. <laughs> I'm going to rinse with my rag. You know what? My face feels really clean. In the raw. I love how everything comes off these wash rags. What kind of wash rags are these? These are Wonder Claws. And this is after washing my face one Twice. time. And then now the second time. And then all you do, everything comes off of it, you guys. Mascara, everything. Yeah. And then you just rinse it in water and it's clean. So you can use it for a couple of days. Wow, cool. All right. Now we're going to put a mask on and then we're just going to chat with you guys for a little bit. So we'll be right back. So I'm doing the one we got tonight from uh, Beauty Heroes. It's a green uh, hydrating mask, plant based. It's green, it's cute. And I am using the Manu Skin Warming Aromatic Mask that I got in my cohorted box from the UK. And mine I have to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, which I think what Debbie's is too. So mine is like a, a clay. They do say you're supposed to do your neck too. Everybody forgets about their neck. Not me. Oh, I see it every time I do look you know what? Hair. This is a warming mask. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, I can feel it warming. Mine is not. No. Mine feels. Mine smells like dead plants. <laughs> it's uh, made from plant products. Uh -huh. All right. But while I'm before I sit down, I got to put that oil in my hair. I'm gonna leave this oil that I got in my hair till morning to see how how my hair washes out. It my hair has been getting a little dry lately. It's been really bugging me, so I'm gonna hope. Hopefully, I, I hopefully will get rid of it with this stuff. I got mad on on Easter Sunday and cut bang. I I took months and months to grow my bangs out. I got mad on Easter Sunday and cut my own bangs back in. How stupid was that? in a weak moment. All right, so go get your facial oil and we'll be right back with you. On this part of it, just I am. 
Um, and this is the Fortifying Hair Serum. And it says you start at your, I would probably put it in your hands and then that way it'll be mixed more evenly. You're supposed to start from your roots, like the base. Yeah, just kind of like, and then you leave it in overnight and then you yeah. just shampoo and wash in the morning. It says you're supposed to drag it through though to the to the ends of the hair. Start at the, at the roots, but bring it through the ends of the hair. I just really want to make sure I get my scalp nice and good. So I'm probably using more than I have to because it's my first time. I want to really saturate it. <laughs> With the green face, it looks like you could be in the Wizard of Oz. Come <laughs> <laughs> my little pretty. <laughs> Those flying monkeys in that thing freaked me out as a kid. All right. all right, I have all this nice... So we have about 10 or 15 minutes to let this dry. So in the 10 or 15 minutes, we're just going to have a little chat with you in the other room. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we've got some time to kill while our mask dries and our spa night. So um, we decided to have a little chat with you. People seem Actually, to you like guys, it. my mask went on like bright green like Cindy's, but mine is turning the same color as my skin as it dries. Isn't that cool? Yeah, mm -hmm. mine is just a warming mask. So, um, so people wanted to know why we got into YouTube, and basically because Cindy got a bug up her butt to do it. Yes, I had been watching YouTube's for a while, probably a good month. Like I was just all of a sudden I like discovered YouTube, and I don't know why. <laughs> because you got into clothing and you started looking at clothing YouTube videos. Uh, yeah. Uh, like a, an unboxing or something. So I ordered some and then uh, I was watching Georgia Sunshine and I was watching hers from like the first one to the last one. And I almost felt like part of her family. It was like the weirdest thing. And um, I got a Stitch Fix box and I was trying to convince Debbie to do it with me. And so I did this mock stitch fix video and I sent it to her. It was in my basement. I don't even know if she could see it. I said, look how easy it is, Debbie. And she's like, oh, I don't know. I don't we know. Started I don't know. In like we started it in March of 2018. Right. And we weren't like going to be these big, serious YouTubers. I just wanted to do something with Debbie that would be fun, that would force us to get together. And so she ordered a stitch fix box. And I went over to her house and I said, no, we've got to do this stitch fix on video. So I filmed her and one, she was kind of shocked with the prices. And I think when I first started getting boxes, I thought so too, because I would only buy clothes like on clearance racks or something. And I was filming her and she just felt so weird and uncomfortable. And we were just, remember that first video? And we were just like laughing hysterically. Um, we were just so bad on camera. I mean, we're still not great, but you go back and watch our first videos. We were <laughs> horrid. <laughs> no, we were just new. And we went back and we filmed it and she didn't want to buy any of the clothes because she thought it was too expensive. But then she showed her husband and he's like, oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. So when we were looking back at the video, we were laughing so hard that her husband and her son were in the other room laughing, not because they saw the video, but because they heard us laughing. And I think we had so much fun doing it that we just started filming and we just would get a few boxes here or there and we didn't have a whole lot in the beginning. And Well, what happened though is um, my husband then died June 1st, mm -hmm. just a few months after we started doing the... Um, and we had been together 38 years, so um, we probably we probably didn't make any videos for about a month, right? Yeah, something like or that. Maybe, I don't know. It I was know, a good it month. Wasn't, it was two weeks because we were going to the lake house to get some stuff mm. for his celebration. So two weeks later, we were at the lake house and Cindy said, you know, we should, we should probably do some videos. And I'm like, you know what? Let's try it because it was something my husband really enjoyed. And so we got back into it because I knew he enjoyed it. Right, he would watch him at work and, yeah. and he'd be laughing in the office and then he was like, oh, I'm watching your videos. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the first couple were pretty hard to do. I mean, yeah. I think if you watch, if you go back and watch those, 
It was pretty hard. It was really hard for me to... Yeah, but we got through it. We got through it, and then... It was you know, almost like therapy, It though. was. It was like therapy, actually. And then, you know... And then Cindy moved into my house just to kind of give me some support and hang out with me for, I don't know, eight or nine months. And um, so it was much easier to do it while she was living there because yeah. we, were, we were with each other almost every day. Um, and then I sold that house. And then when I moved in 2019, um, or was it 2020? 2019, I moved out to my lake house, which is quite a distance from Cindy, two and a half hour drive, mm -hmm. three hour drive now where she lives in Batavia. Um, so now we don't get to get, get together as much. We used to get together once a week because I would come in. I own a, I own a flooring company in, in the Chicagoland area. Um, I got it by default when my husband died. Um, but I've always done the books there. So I would come in once a week to do the books. My two sons were running the company. And um, that seemed to be adequate. But then it started going to three times a, a month. And then it was getting harder to do the videos. And then at two times a month. And then finally, Cindy just said, you know what? Let's just take a break. She had a bunch of stuff going on with her family. Her son-in-law uh, had cancer. My brother was living with her who had cancer and was terminal. And her son-in-law was terminal, so uh, there wasn't any hope for either one of them. But um, so she was dealing with that on her end, and then I, in the interim, got married, and I have an instant family again with younger a younger son who's um, his name is Lucas. He's fifteen. It's just weird to be back in that mom role, even though he's not my biological son. I spend a lot of time with him, so stepmoms do play a role in raising their their stepkids. So we just, we took like a, what, a six month break? I don't think it was quite that long, but. It well, was quite a while because we had people saying, where are you? We missed you. Come yeah, back. And I was like, it was like, seriously? We were, we were just, I, we were just trying to figure out our lives. And what's so funny is though, I was still getting the boxes like BoxyCharm and, you know, a bunch of them. But it's so different when you like open up your BoxyCharm and you're just like, oh, 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 okay, cool. And then you set it aside. But when we're doing videos, it's like Christmas, like, oh, and I got, ah. So it was a lot more exciting. But when you don't, when you're not filming it, it's like, oh, all right, whatever. Nice, you know, toss it in the box, you know. So um, I didn't even think about it. Debbie came to the house one day and she goes, you know, I really think we should start making the videos again. I'm like, really? Okay, well, we'll do the best we can do and we'll put up as many as we can put up. And yes, yeah, and he was... What would happen, Cindy thought she had to put one out every day to keep people interested. I'm like, Cindy, we said when it wasn't fun anymore, we were going to stop doing it. And it was becoming more of a chore than fun for a while because we were both had so much going on in our separate lives. But then when our separate lives started calming down, it's like, hmm, I really miss getting together with her <laughs> and laughing and making the fun videos. So that's when we decided we should get back to it. But now we have all these... Um, people that are offering us their boxes to preview on our channel because they like our channel and it's like okay <laughs> now we're back to making a million videos a week so um, yeah but that's just kind of we kind of like, figured it out though I'm gonna come to town one weekend a month and she's gonna come out to my house one weekend a month and that that'll give us six days to get all the filming done mm -hmm. yeah so um, that's kind of why we got into it it was just like a a way for us to get together and laugh and have fun and look at these beauty products because neither one of us knew what the heck we were doing. We didn't really have much of a skincare routine. We didn't really have much of a makeup routine. And and you know another reason why I love it? When my husband died, my first thought was, gosh, I wish we put would have put him in a couple of these videos because mm -hmm. I would have been able to see him and hear him and, you know, and, and I told Cindy, our kids have these, these videos never disappear. So they'll have, we have so many videos out here. If they ever yeah. miss us or they just want to hear us laugh or talk, or, they can pull these videos up and see us yeah. and hear us. And I think it would really be um, therapeutic for them. Yeah. So I really wish we would have put my hus my late husband in some of Which them. Which is why sometimes you see our sisters in the videos or our a couple friends. of Debbie's friends were with us and we just put them in there because we'll have those videos My sister-in-law when we did the eyelashes out yeah. in California. Yeah, so... That's kind of why we got into videos, and yeah, that, that's it's just fun now. I mean, and again, our we still have that that agreement that when it's not fun anymore, 
we're gonna stop doing it. So we, we try to keep it light and fun. Yeah. Uh, we've been blasted a few times by people for different things and I don't know, I kind of like that part of it too. It, it's just, you know, you're not gonna ever please any everybody, but um, I know it's fun though when someone blasts us, how all you guys t <laughs> turn on that person and yeah. go after them. <laughs> That's really fun to watch too. The first couple of times, and we don't get much of that, at, you know. Hardly ever anymore. Right, and so the first times was really hard. Like, why would they say that? Why do people go out of their way to be mean? And it just kind of upset both of us. Like, how could they say that? Just the first time. Yeah, but after that, it's like, who really cares? I mean, honestly, we don't know these people. And I think certain people just go and watch videos. Just to be mean. Yeah. So uh, we just kind of ignore They're haters. Those now. They're called haters. We do like constructive criticism. Like just recently someone said, hey, can you hold the products up a little bit longer? Because, you know, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But when somebody actually points that out, then it be, it's like stuck in our brains and it's like, oh yeah, we got to really make a better attempt at doing that. And well, you know what happens too to us? Like today we filmed for almost seven hours and we feel like, we almost feel like it's a Netflix series. Like yeah. we do each one and we forget that you guys are going to watch these on whatever day Cindy posts them. And we're like, we talked to you like we just saw you in the last yeah. video, but you don't really know. So it's kind of like, she's like, remember, they're not going to see these in succession. Like, Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so. so that's our little YouTube story. Our spa night. Because yeah. Debbie comes out and probably, I don't know, usually we'll film videos, we'll eat a little dinner, we'll film videos, and then we sit and talk for a while, and then we go to bed and we go on with our lives. So we decided to... Look at look at her mask though. It's almost mine's, gone. Yeah, so mine's almost turned the color of my skin. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, the one good thing about Spa Night is she's actually gonna get to use some of my beauty products that I put on my face after we take this off because we still got some toner to put on and we got some yeah. serums Cindy to put told on. Me at my age, I have to start using ten thousand products on my I face. I did not to say look no. She goes, how long does your makeup or your cleansing routine take you? I'm like, five minutes. It looks like a lot of stuff, but when you do it, because our skin is getting crapey, it's losing elasticity. My skin was getting crepey 10 years ago. You know, with our age spots and our sun spots, and we just got to take care hair. of it. Yeah. Yeah, so I will get her into some kind of a beauty routine. I and it care. does. It takes practice. I earned every freaking wrinkle on this space. I'm not trying to get rid of the wrinkles. I'm just trying to take care of the skin. So we're going to go and take our masks off now. And then you can see the rest of our little treatment. Okay. We are taking off our masks now. Let's see how easy this comes off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. Very nice. I like this warming mask. Oh, oh now wow. it really looks green. You can really see it's still green. Wow, look at my rag. <laughs> the nice thing about these Wonder Cloths, you can get them off of Amazon. You just search Wonder Cloths, or I'll try and remember to put a link below. They are wonderful. How's your face feel after the mask? Tight? A little bit. Yeah, it's supposed to. Is that what it's supposed to do? Yeah. Okay, then the, we got this in, gosh, now I don't even remember which box we got this in, Allure. but it's the Humphrey Witch Hazel Alcohol Free Toner. It so was we're gonna, Allure. Oh, was it? Okay. So get a mask out of there. So you're actually going to get to see our beauty routine. Or our... our All right, so you put toner on your face, mostly to just kind of neutralize your skin and get it ready to accept all your serums and products. And don't forget your neck. Oh, I guess I should take off my necklace. I don't know if I'm crazy about the smell of this one. 
I don't, I don't, I don't really like the smell of this one. But, but see, even though we wash our face twice, look at that. You're still getting stuff off. Yeah, I'm not sure I like the smell of this one. I'm not I mean, it, it at all. It works well, but yeah, but you gotta smell it. Here, excuse me. Here's what I normally use. Because green tea is really good for your face. Let me try that. Can you can yep. you use two toners? I'm gonna sure. see if that one smells better. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this one's like a an orange. Yeah. Oh, this smells better. Yeah, I have to get the smell of that witch hazel off my face. I'm sorry. Yeah. I I'm not a fan I don't want to of that. Sleep with that on my face. I'm not a fan. That goes in the give, give to your daughter's box. Yeah. See, see, that's how we learn if we like these products or not. And I'm sure the product works. I just don't care for I don't the, like smell. the smell. All right. Okay, so that is the first step. And now our face is all ready for the next step. And the next thing, now this is brand new. Now I have not used this product before, but this was the... Which box did we get that out of? Um, the, it was that fun box, because remember that really fun one with all the... All right, we'll go back and look. So this has got broccoli, carrots, broccoli, chia superfood for the skin. Normally, the this only takes five minutes to do, but obviously we're just taking more time to show you the products. So you just take it and you drop a little in your fingers rub it together and then you just kind of put it on your face avoid your eye area and your neck so whatever you put on your face you should put on your neck and your this is kind of oily and then you take the leftover of all the products that you put and you rub it on the back of your hands because this skin is very similar to the skin on your face Wow, your skin doesn't feel as dry, right? Not at all. Yeah. Okay, so that's really good. And then we are going it's to put... It's kind of greasy, though. Uh, then we're going to use an eye serum. And this was in Beauty Heroes. And which one are you using? I don't have an eye serum. Oh, here, you can use this one. And then this one was in... This is Manu Skin, and this was in my cohorted... Um, box from the UK so you just use a little bit on your ring finger whenever you use your eye because your ring finger is the weakest finger and then make sure you get it up by your crow's feet and it's kind of hard to say if you like the product or not because we need to use it for a while to understand but I'm always up for it. Okay. Okay. And then <clears throat> after you're done putting on your different serums, the last thing that I put on before my moisturizer, now this is just from Timeless, and this is a matrix, and it's got, it's a peptide that stimulates the components of your skin's matrix. So I just put on, just like six or seven drops and rub it in. Okay, I'm that's just my use, little serum. We got this body, 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 I don't know. The smell of it's incredible, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this because then I can smell it all night long while I'm sleeping. And this, this is just an long. overnight moisturizer mask. Yeah. Like. Yeah, this does smell really good. Yeah, it does. There you go. There's our nighttime routine. That's it. Well, I got this lip stuff too that you're supposed to leave on oh. overnight. A lip scrub? Like those ones you have in your room? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put some of this on. What do you do, put it on your finger? Mm-hmm. Nothing? Yeah, squeeze. It has like 
those bubbly, those crunchy things in it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a scrub, a lip scrub. Because you're supposed to leave it on all night. I know. It's a moisturizing lip scrub. Well, that was fun. There. Look at us now. Our skin is glowing. Glowing ruby. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. I got to say, of all the products we used, that one, the smell is too much for me. <laughs> All right. Hope you enjoyed our nighttime spa routine. So we will see you in the next video. We'll have to do this again one morning and you can see the morning routine. So thanks for hanging out. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.